Yo, what's up guys? It's Kyle back again with another video. And this time I'm gonna show you what a week of weightlifting looks like for me. This is a three day template I've wrote and I adapted to fit my specific needs. So I'll put it up right here and you can use it to adapt to your specific needs. So I'm gonna run some training footage. I'll talk about why I set it up the way I did. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So kicking off day one with back squats. Normally you wanna start with the faster movements like snatch, clean, or jerk. But I'm starting with four sets of five squats because my leg strength is not quite where I want it to be. So since that's the focus, that's what I'm gonna do first while my energy is at its highest. So looking back on your training in the past, you'll need to evaluate how you respond to volume and decide on your own reps and set schemes. I chose four by five because I know those higher volume sets are difficult for myself. So coming up on the low hang snatch here for the second part, you can do whatever variation of the snatch or clean and jerk you need to to address technical issues. I have a hard time going around the knee and like I said, using my legs. So that's why I opted for the low hang variation for the snatch. Rounding out day one with some floating snatch pull on a riser to keep those legs under tension the whole time, as well as strengthen that lower back and navigate around the knee a little better. Day two starts with the overhead squat. Again, putting that squat up front so I can focus on getting stronger in the legs. I chose to use my jerk grip because it alleviates some pressure off my wrists and mobility has kind of been a restriction in the past. So this is a quick way, kind of hit a couple birds with one stone. You may notice on some of these reps, I'm hitting a little bit of a pause. They should be longer as I'm trying to build comfort in that end range. Next we have jerk triples and I'm choosing to lower it to the shoulder every rep instead of using the blocks. So that way I'm keeping under tension the whole time. When I receive the bar, I'm also focusing on staying balanced in the feet and having a little bit of a pause overhead to reinforce those good positions. Similar to the variations you can do for the snatch and the clean, you can also do variations for the press to address those specific weaknesses you have. I tend to have a forward dip in my jerk so I chose to do the push press to try and drive vertical rather than hit that incline of your torso. So I'm finishing off day two with four sets of five push press. Day three, last day of the week. Again, starting off with a squat. I'm doing four sets of five on the front squat. When I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep a full grip on the bar to improve that rack position as well as help strengthen my upper back as I have a little bit of rounding generally. After nearly dying, I had to come back and hit the low hang clean plus jerk. Again, I'm doing that low hang because I have trouble navigating around the knees and driving hard through the legs instead of using my back. So I choose to do three cleans and then one jerk, or I could have done three clean and jerks, but I feel like my jerk is not the biggest issue I have. So I'm focusing primarily on the clean. Finishing off the week of weightlifting, I do the floating clean pull. Again, this is to keep the legs under tension the whole time and to strengthen that low back wall, focusing on the quality of positions. The template is just a starting point. You can change the exercise order. You can change the variation of the exercise to power, hang, pause, whatever you need to do to address your specific weaknesses. I hope that you guys better understand the way that I train and how you could adapt it for yourselves. 
Looking forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Peace.